to an acre and a prayer. Today it is all about Murphy. Murphy is our Wheaton Terrier and we love him on our acre and a prayer homestead. Wheaton Terriers are great for, in our opinion of course, any homestead. They are hyperallergenic, which we need at our household, which now you think about it, <laughs> we have so many livestock, livestock that are not hyperallergenic, but they don't go in our house. Murphy is inside our house as much as he is actually more than outside because it's so hot. He can run around for probably five, 10 minutes and be good for the rest of the day. He's almost two. He'll be two in October. So he still has a lot of puppy in him but he is a great dog. When we looked at dogs for the homestead, the first thing that the husband had to look for, of course, was that they're hyperallergenic because little A is allergic to just about everything. So we also wanted a dog that would be good for all the animals that we were eventually gonna have because Murphy was actually our very first animal on an acre in a prayer. So we needed something that would be okay with having farm animals. So we looked and Wheaton Terriers actually comes from, it is an Irish descent. My son Jag, when he went over to Scotland, he said he saw Murphys everywhere, that they were all over the place. So everyone knows, at least over in Scotland, that Wheatons are an awesome breed. Another thing we liked, there's so many positives about Wheaton Terriers compared to negatives. And when the kids and I wrote these down, I realized, well, it's, you know, my husband did a good job picking a breed. Besides hyperallergenic, they are affectionate. They love everybody in the family the same. There's a saying called the Wheaton Greetin'. The Wheaton Greetin', and it is true. They are so excited when you come home. In fact, we've had to train him not to jump around or anything like that, because he will. He just loves everybody. And then they are very intelligent, very smart, and they'll listen to the kids for the most part, but they are, of course, you know, pack leader, and if he knows he can get away with stuff with the kids, oh, he does. He's not allowed upstairs unless at nighttime he can go to um, upstairs to go to bed, but whenever the husband and I aren't around, He's running upstairs <laughs> It's the kids. <laughs> He's, he doesn't listen that great with them. But they need to put their foot down and then he would. Very playful, energetic, and faithful. They are extremely faithful dogs and they are wonderful watchdogs. They aren't guard dogs, they're watchdogs. They will let you know when someone's around. The downside of Wheaton Terriers is they have to be groomed which you will see because the groomer's coming today, but you can see the before and the after. And Murphy definitely needs to be groomed. He should have been groomed about four weeks ago, but we ran into scheduling conflict and stuff. So the groomer has a task today for her. They love water. If it's out raining or whatever, they will get in water. If they see a little puddle of water, they will be in it, which is fine, especially, I mean, it's like in the 90s here, but their coat, you gotta make sure then you really brush it out after that. They are, have the terrier in them, so they will test you. And when he gets his nose to the ground, because he is basically a rat dog, there is no stopping him. He will look and find a scent and he will ignore you and he's on a mission. I did have some critters, some mice in my shed, scared the bejeebies out of me. So I put the chickens away and everything and I thought, let's see how Murphy does. <laughs> so he was always a paw behind, but I would be interested to see if he could be trained and help us out on getting the, the, rid of those. Because where there's mice, the husband reminded me there'd be snakes because snakes like mice. And those are two things that I'm not fond of. So I wanna somehow get rid of those in my shed before you guys in whatever country or state you're in can hear me scream when I see those two things on an acre and a prayer. So my stepsister taught Murphy how to do like spin, sit, and boop. Boop is when he do nose to nose, that's what we call it. And he knows also how to lay down. Murphy. Sit, boop, 
Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Mm -hmm. Back. Oh. We had times where the chickens have gotten out through the fence and that, and Murphy's been out and he hasn't destroyed them and he'll listen and when we tell him to stay back and even with the boys out front, we'll show you how he does with them too. He does listen to the kids, but he tests them a little bit. Um, he never tests the husband. <laughs> he gives a little bit of tea of the testing with me, but other than that, he is a great dog. So let's go see how he is with the boys over here, with our boy Buck. So we started from the very beginning getting our livestock, our pets, our Nigerian dwarfs, used to Murphy since they were little and they I never of course have them together don't know how that would work I'm pretty confident it would be fine just haven't really had the opportunity or wanted them to come out the same time as Murphy or that but they are definitely used to them Murphy he'll come up to the fence and they'll play a little bit through the fence the girls Penny and Penelope they are not worried about him at all um, so that's one thing you have to remember with Nigerian dwarfs, their number one killer is actually domestic dogs. But once again, we wanted a dog that was farm, but it's more like a farm dog, multi-purpose, and that's definitely what Wheaton Terriers are. He looks fantastic. He had to get really shaved because number one, it is so hot right now, and number two, he was a mess. <laughs> this is the best she could do for now, but hopefully we will make sure that he stays a little more on schedule for his grooming. One more thing I wanted to mention that all Wheaton Terriers as puppies all look pretty much the same. They all have a darker coat, and as they grow, they get this Wheaton color, hence their name. Thanks so much. I hope you guys go out, and if you need a puppy, you'll get a Wheaton Terrier. Have a blessed day. Like and subscribe.